Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to map a network drive with group policy in Windows Server 2022. Mapping a network drive is common among system administrators so that authorized users can access the network drive remotely. It is very useful for accessing files over the network. For this demo, we have two VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have another domain join Windows 10 VM. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. For this example, I have created one OU named HR. Under HR OU, we have one security group named HR users. All the users from the HR department are member of this security group. In our example, we have one user account named Deepak Patel and he is member of HR users group. I have also created one shared folder for HR users with read and write permission. Check out the description area for the link to the video on how to set up a shared folder in Windows Server 2022. In this example, we are going to map a network drive for the users from HR department who are member of HR users group. We will use item level targeting so it only maps this drive for users in the HR users group from HROU. This will map to a network share that only the HR department has access to. We can also use an OU to target a specific group of users. Go to run type cmd and hit enter key to open command prompt. Type command net share and hit enter to see the list of shared folders available on this server. We can see the shared folder with the name HR data. We want to map this shared folder on client computers using the group policy. Go back to server manager, click on tools and select group policy management to open GPMC management console. Right click the group policy objects node and select new. Enter a friendly name for the new GPU. For example, map network drive GPU. Click OK to create a new GPU. The new GPU is created successfully. Now it's time to configure the settings. Right click the new GPU and select edit. In the group policy management editor window, navigate to user configuration, preferences, window settings and click on drive maps. Right click drive maps, select new and click on map to drive. Now we have to configure drive mapping properties on general tab. Action is set to update. You can also use create as well, but in this example, we are going to use update action. We used update action to modify the existing map drives configuration. If it does not exist, it creates a new map drive. In location, put the path to the shared folder you want to map a drive to. In our case, the path will be double slash ws2022 half and dc01 slash hr data. Check the reconnect box. Check this option if you want to save the mapped drive in the user's settings and reconnect it each time they log on. By using label as, you can specify a custom name for the shared drive. You can leave this field blank. In this example, I am typing HR data as a label. Choose a drive later or select one under use the first available starting it. Be careful because if the workstation is already using the later you choose here, the group policy drive mapping will fail. In this example, we will choose drive later H. If connect as setting is blank, the drive will be mapped using the current user account's credentials. You can choose to specify a different user account here that will be used instead. You can also choose to connect the new drive or all drive in a hidden state. We are not going to modify those settings. Go to Common tab. 
check running lockdown user security context and item level targeting. Item level targeting allows you to apply drive mapping in a very flexible way. For example, you could apply a drive mapping only to certain OU and the users and computers in it only to certain IP address range. If you enable item level targeting, click the targeting button to open the targeting editor. Click new item and select the type of item that you want to apply the new shared drive mapping policy to. In this example, we will select security group. Click on three dots to choose the specific security group from our active directory. In the search box, type hr-users and click on check names. HR users. Click OK. We can see the condition that apply this settings only if the user is a member of security group named HR users. Under group, we can see the SID of our security group and we have selected user in the group option. Click OK to close the targeting editor. Click on apply and OK. This completes the GPU configuration settings. Close the group policy editor. Since this is a user-based GPO, so make sure you link the GPO to a location that will target the users. We have all of HR department users in HR OU, so we'll link the GPO there. Right-click the HR OU and select link an existing GPO. From the list, select map network drive GPO and click on OK. The GPO is successfully linked to the targeted OU. To see the result, let's go to our Windows 10 computer. This is a domain joint Windows 10 computer and on this computer, we have already logged in using the user account of Deepak Patel. In order for the new GPO to apply, we will need to restart the computer. We can also run command gp update slash force from the command prompt to update the policy manually. First, open file explorer and click on this PC. Right now, we don't have any map network drive on this computer. To access the command line, click on start and search for CMD and press enter key to open command prompt. Type command gp update slash force and press enter key to update the group policy settings manually. In backend, we can see a new map drive showing up under this PC with the name HR data and drive later H. Now user can access the shared folder using this map drive. And now user from HR department can create folder here and store his or her data under this folder. For example, if you now create a new user account under HR OU, and if you don't add that user to HR users group, this policy will not apply on that user. Why? Because we have used item level targeting with this GPO to map a network drive. And that policy will only apply if the targeted user is member of the HR users group. In this video, we have learned how to map network drive using GPO and found it to be one of the easiest and simplest method of mapping a network drive unlike the regular logon scripts. Also, the item level targeting is helpful for focusing on individual users, enabling you to manage them efficiently. That's all for this video on how to map a network drive with group policy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.